What's up guys, looking real beats. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a Deco slash Yami type beat. With that being said, let's get into the question of the day, which is how long do you think it'll take for AI to take your job? Leave an answer down in the comment section down below. Let's hop into the video. Now, first things first, the BPM 155 is what I'm using. So 150 to 160 is a great sweet spot, but of course you can use whatever you want. I'm just gonna be showing you the elements you need. And obviously you wanna kinda of put your own spin on it, kinda of make it your own. You don't wanna copy the style exactly. You could, but you know, that's you know do what you want to do um, so for the scale i think it's easier to make melodies for this style in a major uh so um i don't know let's do a b major we could do a b major you could do a minor as well but i think it's just easier to like actually make the melody um in a major so we're gonna be using this sound okay um you just want to kind of use any synth that you have it doesn't really matter you don't need serum but um serum is just you know just to go to uh, so what you want to do is we want to start on our root let me make this larger because it's going to be super easy we just do this and then you go you go down one from in the major scale right so you do this and then from this note you just make a chord backwards so you're going to be making a minor chord like so and that's it that's all you do everything else is just bonus and you just move it over and then if you want to you can that's it and now you add some like bass notes and then we can control b this boom and let me make sure this is clear for you to see i don't want it to be all over the place and you just add these bass notes in here For some reason these are off so i'm gonna quantize these there we go simple as that that's the melody and then i'm gonna just layer these i'm not sure which ones i'm not gonna sit here and make you watch that but i'm gonna see which ones i want to layer but you do want to try to layer and i'll just do one right here so here we have this sound here it'll pop up fl is just being fl okay yeah so yeah just to give it a little bit more life so that is the main melody of course you can do more you could take it a different route i kind of like sad stuff um so that's why i'm going with this um, let's just move on to the next uh, melody we're gonna make all right so before we get started with our lead i went ahead and just layered these three uh, which will save us a lot of time and this is what it sounds like with this sound here so it has a lot of energy now so now we're going to be using this lead oh it already popped up um now we're going to be using this uh to kind of make a little top melody it's not needed i think we have enough at this point because the 808 is really what's going to make this or what makes this uh style um hit so um we could just use the same notes and i'm gonna mute this so we can hear and we're gonna use the same exact notes I'm gonna And then over here, I'm gonna wait a little bit and just maybe throw it back in. Just know. Let's copy it over. And again, we are not innovating. We are not trying anything different. If you look at this, it's the same exact note setup. If you throw these up, it's gonna be the exact same notes. Look, it's the same exact notes, literally. I'm um, just different rhythms. I'm mean, over here. I don't know. I'm gonna let's slice these over.
okay i think that's good enough um and next what we're gonna do is add our little vocal um in here so let's go ahead and do that lastly we have our little vocal chop um so what i did here is we just put in an envelope and then i just kind of made it so we can control exactly how long it plays um, that way we can kind of make a lead out of it um, so i'm gonna copy this to here and i should probably go back and make this the same as over here so it's consistent let's pop that in and then i'm gonna put and I'm gonna just adjust some things, right? We don't really need to do anything super crazy. We could just play around with some of the links of this. I'm gonna add some of these notes in. and just fade it out let me see how that sounds doesn't sound too bad um and then, i don't know we just all right so that is the vocal so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna be showing you just a play well i guess it's not a plugin but a program you can use to get that yami voice effect um i'm not gonna Go through a whole tutorial on it but i'm just show you how it works so you know how to get that exact effect all right all right so here is the plugin or the um, program that you'll use to kind of get that yami voice effect okay so it's called vocaloid um if you've never heard of it before it's like pretty much just like robot singing or ai singing now because um, they have ai integrated in here so um all you do is it's just like a midi you place it in and you tell it what to say so um and it plays along so you take your pencil and it's very easy now so this update um you can and then, and then now all you do is you double click and you can tell them to subscribe and then you can actually control how this works or how it sings um so if you want to say like vibrato you can you can control the how smooth the transitions are it's actually pretty cool um so that's pretty much how you get that voice or that, like artificial voice now i'm not going well i guess i could make something i guess i'll make something but i'm not going to do that on screen because i it's just not really if you want to make a if you want to make a tutorial over it i can but i feel like most people won't even have this in the first place so it's not even worth showing um because i want to get to making the beat um, so i guess uh we'll make the beat and then we can do this after so let's get to the 808 all right so now we're gonna go ahead and throw the drums in this is the part where the beat comes together so you got to get this right um now you can use whatever drums you want however you want to use them um, but they gotta hit hard okay um because that's kind of like the a big element of the style um so i'm gonna do the hi-hats first i hate ruining the 808 part so i'm gonna do it last and i usually like to mute everything um and if you don't have this vocaloid you know program um that's why i included a vocal chop just because it's kind of like an alternative so um how you make vocal chops you pretty much would just take a vocal you could do like if you have arcade or something like that or you can record your own vocal and you just literally chop like half a second so it plays like this and then then you can play it like an instrument but anyway let's go here and i'm gonna just make something real simple i'm not gonna i'm gonna try to do anything super let me see i don't know why this is not pulling out okay that's good enough it doesn't need to be perfect because 
our 808 is just going to blow everything out of the water um what was our baseline so this is our baseline here so e f d and oops probably b c sharp something like that so let's go in here complete this beat to fade up but it's not fading like i wanted to there we go perfect and let's steal this just move it up uh what was was it right here c sharp maybe Let's see. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. Let's play the whole thing. And if obviously, you wouldn't play all these together. Well, I'll probably organize this so we can knock out two birds, one stone. I'll um, chop it up and we'll i'll probably throw some vocaloid just so you can see like what it will sound like but here <laughs> all right so i'm gonna real quick throw some on vocaloid and i'm gonna put it in the playlist um and then we can just end the video okay so i went ahead and just made like the outro for this so all i did and it looks like a lot but all i did was just i took the uh patterns like so and as you can see i just chopped them like that and then just cut every other one um, and then i just did some with the 808 and then for the vocaloid i just did something i didn't really think too much about it um but yeah i just kind of made it go along with the beat and i was just playing around with the scale but I just want to show you like what it's capable of. Like it can actually sing, right? Like you can actually make it sing. So I'm gonna play the whole thing, right? Or at least until the vocaloid is done. so there's a lot of range in there right and if you, you can even i don't even know you could add you know you can add sound effects to um let me see add some goofy effects you could do that too um let me see maybe something like that and then we could do one of these flicks uh, if you just want to have some fun There we go. Boom. There you go. Now you got some goofy effects in there. All right. That's enough. I think I'm done here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.